Welcome back to our channel. Today we will continue to bring the audience to the dramatic and tense developments in Sharon's life. Let's explore more deeply the unexpected and dangerous situations that Sharon is facing when Cameron's image continues to haunt her. Since Cameron returned as a hallucination in Sharon's mind, the audience has witnessed her fierce internal struggle. Cameron is no longer a physical entity, but his shadow still haunts, creeping into the darkest corners of Sharon's mind as the embodiment of deep-seated anxieties and obsessions. Sharon knows that Cameron is not real, but she cannot escape the terrifying images he evokes. Memories of her painful past, her mistakes and her hurts, all of them are brought back by Cameron, forcing Sharon to face her greatest fears. The dark places in her mind that Sharon doesn't want to face, the thoughts that she wants to bury deep inside, all of them are brought to light by Cameron. He forces Sharon to go to those places, to face the things she has always avoided. But facing the ghosts of the past is not simply about overcoming them. Cameron is leading Sharon down a dark path, where despair and hatred can take over her mind. It is the beginning of a dangerous journey from which Sharon may never return. In the next episode, Cameron drops a dark hint that there is a path forward for Sharon, a path that could lead to true happiness for the first time since Cassie Newman's death. But to get there, Cameron implies that Sharon needs to find a way to end the pain associated with Cassie, no matter the cost. What does this mean? Sharon knows that Cameron is pushing her toward the worst thoughts, but she can't get him out of her mind. As Sharon tries to resist, Cameron convinces her that Cassie is the cause of her breakup with Nick. Although Sharon refuses to let Cameron blame Cassie for the breakup with Nick, he relentlessly reminds her of the mistakes and responsibilities she feels she bears. Cameron also makes a cruel argument, that only when Sharon accepts the truth about her past and deals with it once and for all will she be able to move forward and find peace. But what really needs to be done? Cameron, implies that there is someone responsible for all of Sharon's suffering. Someone who has come into her life and caused all the trouble. Could it be Phyllis? Who has always stood between Sharon and Nick? Doing everything to destroy their relationship? Sharon knows better than anyone that Phyllis is the thorn in her side the one who has prevented her from reuniting with Nick. And now, Cameron is urging Sharon to get rid of Phyllis forever, to end the suffering and ensure that Nick will never return to Phyllis again. The thought of getting rid of Phyllis may be a terrifying prospect for Sharon. But Cameron turns it into an appealing idea as the only solution for her to escape the past and move forward. He keeps hinting that Sharon needs to act that getting rid of Phyllis is not only the only way to save herself, but also to protect her future with Nick. Meanwhile, Phyllis' son, Daniel, could be next in Sharon's revenge plot. But whether Daniel is involved or not, what Cameron really cares about is Sharon getting rid of the woman who destroyed her life. With Cameron leading the way, how far can Sharon go? Is she willing to go through a ruthless plan to regain her happiness? Fans warn that Cameron will continue to lure Sharon into reckless and dangerous actions. Stay tuned to our channel for all the latest news and twists as Sharon confronts the ghosts of her past and makes decisions that could change your life forever.